Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on life through music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, coming again today, you're very, very welcome. I trust you enjoyed my last video on Josh Wilson with this song, I Refuse, which is all about not walking by someone who needs help. So I trust you found that one encouraging. We're going from there to a master songwriter today, 1946, Elk City, Oklahoma. This guy started his life. He was, grew up in a minister. He was a minister's kid, pre-K, PK, preacher's kid. And he certainly learned the craft of playing piano in churches. Make no mistake, um, you churches have a lot um, to do with people. Many artists have had their start because it's such a good training ground in many, many ways. A bit of discipline, a bit of freedom. It's a really good place to learn to play piano in a public setting. But he thought, hey, I, he was looking around himself thinking, hey, I like Elvis Presley, Glenn Campbell. Those guys are pretty, pretty amazing. And in 1964, he actually moved to California and studied music. And it's when he graduated from there, he started to do some songwriting in recording studios. The guy that we're talking about is Jimmy Webb. Now, we'll talk about these songs you have to talk about when you talk about him in a minute. In fact, there's many songs, but there's one in particular. Um, 1966, uh, Johnny Rivers, who I've done recently, recorded one of... Um, Jimmy West, Webb's first hits by the time I get to Phoenix. You know, there's a note on the door. It's actually a breakup song, this one, but there's a really, really clever, cluey way of actually writing a breakup song. Um, Jimmy Webb's got a bit of a um, bit of country, country feel to some of his music, but there's more to Jimmy Webb than just that. But they've certainly got that vibe and feel to it, certainly in the early, early stages. So, um, although recorded by Johnny Rivers, I thought I'd get Glenn Campbell's version. Got a studio version of him singing that one. And Jimmy Webb and Glenn Campbell would have a pretty, pretty fruitful relationship. In 1967, again, Johnny Rivers approached um, Jimmy Webb and said, Hey, look, uh, I've got this great fifth dimension. I've got this bit of a label thing happening. Could you write a song for me? And Jimmy Webb came up with Up, Up and Away. Uh, this is a very, very massive song for Jimmy Webb and really, truly catapulted Fifth Dimension into, into uh, stardom at that point. Up and up in a day in my beautiful balloon. Absolutely beautiful song. Uh, just so airy and effortless and just so freeing. It's just one of those really beautiful songs to listen to. Um, moved to 1968 and I mentioned Glenn Campbell before. Well, one of his classic hits... Wichita Lion Man. This song is so significant, it's been put into the National Registry of Congress as a significant American song. We've got a studio version of Glenn Campbell singing this one. This is a massive song for Glenn Campbell, selling over one million copies. Then in 1968, one of the most, well, quirky, unique, original interesting lyric songs ever written MacArthur Park came out now come of the lines someone left the cake out in the rain I don't know if I can it took so long to make it I don't know if I'm going to make it I won't have that recipe again Mac MacArthur Park is melting in the dark um, icing melting down there's, there's such, such a corny corny lyrics in, song, in this song um, also, um, this song goes for seven minutes. <laughs> There's a number of movements in it. And when Jimmy Webb sort of um, released this song onto the market, everyone thought, no, nah, <laughs> sorry. But believe it or not, Richard Harris, <laughs> um, actor, can't really sing, can't really sing at all actually, but he took on this absolute monster of a song and had an absolute, absolutely massive hit on his hand. Um, below we've got a version of, of a bit of a documentary of MacArthur Park because it is so unique and so original with Richard Harris featured there. Um, this later Donna Summer would come out in 1978 with a, with, a, with a disco version of MacArthur Park. This song was absolutely massive for her. It was great to see this song come back into the limelight because it is so significant. 
and good to see i've sort of done it a bit of a different way multi-million copies sold very 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 big song by um by uh donna summer massive hit for her but macarthur park you think the way i read it i think in my own small way um macarthur park is melting in the dark now we've got to very, get very very philosophical here because it is sun writing and that is a relationship's over macarthur park could have been a place where they met could have been a place where they had incredible memories beautiful times together but it's melting and the icing is flowing down <laughs> icing i suppose being a um first of all a symbol of of, of pretty and beautiful but also it could be a symbol of um, icing um, flowing down off of the cake underneath which is not so good <laughs> imagine um, I suppose a cake maybe it's burnt <laughs> burnt to a crisp but someone says oh I don't care I'll just put icing on it anyway and we'll see if we can get away with it well it's all really that's all very very nice until you get through the icing to the cake and think what the hell is going on here this is not working I'm not going to eat it um, well, the lyrics go on to say, um, someone left the cake out in the rain. Well, not a very good place to leave a cake. So what happens to a cake when you leave it out in the rain? It goes soggy, doesn't it? It goes yucky. It becomes, or well, it's not cake-like at all. It took so long to bake it. Um, almost like, so it's like the emotional investment that goes into relationships. It's just so much that goes into relationships, doesn't there? You know, you give your all to them. You you want them. To, you want to be the best version of yourself that you can be in a relationship, as the other person wants to be the best person, best version of themselves as well. Um, but if something's left out in the rain, in other words, it's not protected. It's not nurtured. It becomes you know floppy and stale. And it doesn't matter how much icing you put on it. It's not to kind of cover over the fact that, you know, the icing's melted and you're not left with much left over. It could be a little bit like the honeymoon period in the relationship too. You know, at the start there's lots of icing, isn't there? But as the icing goes and you're left with the rawness and realness, two things happen. Either you think, no, nah, not going to happen, or the love gets stronger. So um, it's interesting what happens. And then the love kind of just brings the icing back, but more solid. Because when the, the, when the rainy days come, and they will come, you know, love needs to stand up, and love needs to stand up and be counted. Because you know what, there's no, nothing more important than supporting your girl, supporting your guy when they're going through a hard time, absolutely. So we've got um, icing that's melted. We've got... Um, Baking, emotional investment, and I don't think I'm going to make it again. It's almost like, hey, look, you know, I thought love was forever. Love has failed. Well, as I've said a few times in the past, it's not love that fails. Relationships fail because love is patient and kind, never gives up, never keeps a record of wrongs, always perseveres, always hopes. That's what love is. It's a good definition of it. If you want to know where I got those words from, 1 Corinthians 13 in the Bible. And, you know, many a wedding has had that passage read out to it. Because you know what? It's really good definition of love it is. But I do wonder how many people actually take note of those words because love is patient and kind. So he doesn't think he's going to be make it, make it again um, because... The recipe he thought he was going to use hasn't worked. So MacArthur Park, I think, is a bit of a, it's quite a clever. Well, first of all, let's not mistake Jimmy Webb's incredible lyric writing because it is amazing. Here, this song has created a bit of interest ever since it was written, and I think you know, leaving a cake out in the rain, you know, there's something quite corny but also quite beautiful and raw about those lyrics, and I think Jimmy Webb really was coming to terms with perhaps a, a loss of his of his own and he thought hey i thought i had macarthur park this beautiful beautiful place but you know the cake's been left out in the rain the icing's gone and i'm not going to be able to make it because i don't have the recipe the recipe i thought i could use hasn't worked and so um it, all of these words kind of give give a bit of meaning to this song i'm thinking just look at it in terms of a relationship breakdown 
I think in terms of, hey, so much emotional investment got in, put, put into this thing, but I don't know if I could do it again. Can I trust myself to do it again? But you know what? We do, don't we? We're confronted with the icing and the cake again, the beautiful blue, the beautiful green, and things need to deepen, and they need to deepen quickly because, you know, if the love of your life is the love of your life, you want it forever, don't you? You want him forever. So may MacArthur Park inspire you. I encourage you to just listen to um, listen to the lyrics uh, as you listen to uh, Donna Summer's recording. Uh, MacArthur Park was a was massive production number two. There's a lot of movements in the song, and it just shows Jimmy Webb's uh, production um, nous and thinking in this song. It really is such a stunning song in many, many ways. It's good to see that it's still as unique and as timeless as when it was written back in the 1960s. 1969, uh, the Grammy Awards were being given out in droves by the time we get to Phoenix, Wichita, Linesman and MacArthur Park all received Grammy Awards that year. 1969 also, out came another one of Glenn Campbell's iconic songs, Galveston. Uh, this is one of his classics, and you know Jimmy Webb really knew how to write for for um, for Glenn Campbell. We've got a studio version of that one below. Late 19, 1970s, 1992, uh, Jim, Jimmy Webb had a little bit of a, a go at um, some original solo albums. He had six albums recorded there. Uh, one of those albums later, there was a critic that said um, Jimmy Webb is, is the most important pop music writer since Dylan. So, you know, it's a very, very big accolade indeed. 1994, Christopherson, Nelson, um, Jennings and Cash, the Highwaymen, got together and they asked uh, Jimmy Webb to write The Highwaymen for them. What an honour to be asked to write for those four legends of the country music industry. Really, really incredible. So we've got a live version of that one below. But during that time, he also got into film scoring, a um, number of Broadway musicals, and some classical music as well. Move forward uh, again in the 1980s um, to Toto, the seventh one. Uh, Jeff Baccaro, unfortunately, left this world way too early. And, and the song Home of the Brave um, was written. This was written also by Jimmy Webb. And one of the lines in the song, um, it's a different summer, we've got the sound of a different drummer. I think um, this is a really, really good way of talking about the incredible loss that Jeff Prakara was to Toto, not just to Toto, but to the music community in general. And uh, this song also talks about hype of humanity, humanity hoping for something better, trying for something more. So um, Home of the Brave is a really, really good song that Jimmy Webb written and of course Toto and their incredible musicianship style absolutely brought this song to life. So a live version of that one below. Oh my God, Toto, they're just so, so good. 2011, he was appointed chair of the Songwriters Hall of Fame. So there we go. 2012, we received the Ivan Novella Special Achievement Award, International Award. Um, he's run three Grammy Awards, uh, the National Pop Music Hall of Fame, Songwriting Pop Music Hall of Fame, Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame, National Academy of Songwriters Lifetime Achievement Award, Oklahoma Hall of Fame, Songwriting Hall of Fame. Um, and um, I've included below, because there's just too much to, to talk about here, just the discography of Jimmy Webb, because there's just so much going on there. I thought I'd just create a link to the Wikipedia entry below so you could look at that for yourself. So it's great to give um, this master songwriter a bit of a go today and to acknowledge the incredible legacy he has brought to the world of music. It's great to um, give all of these incredible artists a go. And Jimmy Webber is an absolute monster songwriter in the world of music. MacArthur Park was an absolutely stunning song. Good to see it covered some 10 years later by, by um, as well. By Donna Summer. It's just the name was there, yeah, by Donna Summer. So the links to those clips are in the description below, and I've also included my last video from Josh Wilson if you want to recap on him. Feel free. 
Well, if this is your first time on the Life Reflections Show Music or you've come back for another one, how great to see everybody here. Well, that's it for today. Next time, I'm going to go on to comedian, musician, uh, just incredible, just all-round entertainer, Bill Bailey. So that's where we're headed. So until then, I'll catch you around. Bye for now.